everybody. This is Dan Nichols, author of Getting Unstuck. I uh, just downloaded the uh, new Microsoft 2010. I wanted to share with you how to record a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go to View. I'm going to go to Normal View so I can start it like right from the top. And let's just pretend here we are, right? We're on the very first slide. And let's say, okay, I'm ready to record. Everything's tweaked. I go to uh, Slideshow. I go to record slideshow and then I hit start recording from beginning. I select slide in, um, in animation timings and narrations and laser pointer. I click start recording and um, now I start recording. If I hold the control key down I can make a little laser pointer ooh, and like show them something which is kind of cool. Um, and right now I'm just going to talk and now I'm going to go to the next slide. Be sure your speakers are on. Prepare for about 70 minutes. Turn off your phone. Shut down your email. Stop tweeting. Stop Facebooking. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I go through this whole thing. This webinar will change your life because you'll find out what's been holding you back. You can find out why a child influences your decision. And then a little bit about the author. And uh, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to hit end show. And then I'm going to um, close this, and I'm going to minimize this. Oh no, actually I'm not, sorry. I'm going to go back to normal view because I feel like most people are going to be comfortable seeing it that way. Alright, so now I'm going to, uh, I know that those four slides now have narr narration tied to them. Watch if I do um, slide sorter. See it says 14 seconds, 12 seconds, 7 seconds, and 4 seconds. So I know that there's been voice assigned to each of those. Now I'm going to hit File, I'm going to hit Save and uh, Send. And then I'm going to hit Create a Video. And I'm going to hit Create Video here. And I already called it Sample Recording. Um, so hit Save. And now it's going to compile, so I'm going to pause for a second. This will probably take about four slides. It'll probably take about six minutes. It's not really fast, but that's life with video recording. Okay, so it's um, now done, and uh, here's the sample recording right here. It's a Windows Media file. I can make a little laser pointer and like show them something, which is kind of cool. So that's it. Um, just right want now, that's it. Just wanted to uh, help people understand how to use that PowerPoint recorder in the new MS Office 10. So just something I wanted to add to that whole thing was. Um, Here's the sample recording, how it came up, and then here it's shot over in this window and it plays, and it played perfectly fine. It worked really well. Um, that was four slides. I compiled one the other day that had 58 slides, and it worked just fine. Um, another thing that I wanted to bring up was uh, something that I think is just so cool about this. Let's say you have a presentation that you want to present to um, a real estate investment group. And then you have that same presentation. Like for me personally, I can present getting unstuck to a number of different audiences because it's on the psychology of, um, of the entrepreneur in general. So whether it's a real estate investor or somebody that wants to start a party store or a um, you know, basket weaving business, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's what's cool about it. You can go in and you can change just a couple of different slides and re-narrate over that slide. I'll show you, like I could actually go in here and I could re-narrate over this slide and keep the narration for slide two, three, and four. And that is really huge because then I don't have to spend all that time redoing the whole thing. Granted, you could edit that out using a you know more traditional video means, but there's something about chunking it um, by slide that I really think is pretty cool. So um, let's say I wanted to clear these slides off. I can go to uh, Slideshow. I go to this button here and it says Clear. I can clear the narration on the current slide. I can clear it on all slides. So just a cool feature. I wanted you to know. I'm out.